Uh, Planetary Rendezvous is okay, like I said in the video. I don't think it's anything crazy because it's very niche, but it is okay. Ruan May, nice. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to build up Ruan May really quickly, and then I'll be back. All right, fast forward a couple hours, and here we are. I have her on MOTP Light Cone, increases where's break effect by 35%. This will be really good because she just wants a lot of break. I have her on... Uh, 237.5% break effect. Lots and lots of break for Ruan May. And I have her 61010. Her relics are going to be 4 piece Thief of Shitty Shooting Meteor. Oh man, my English. Uh, Kingdom of Banditry. And we have, uh, you guys can see the pieces. Ignore the crit damage. It's because there's 18% crit or 18% break effect on the piece. I'd rather have HP percent on her. To give a little bit more survivability. And same with this. 5.8% break effect on the piece. I'd rather have HP percent to get more survivability. I'll be grinding uh, Kingdom of Banditry 100% to be able to try to get that. And also get some more pieces here. Because now I also need to farm some pieces for Luca. Uh, she kind of... There's this one little interaction that a lot of people kind of forgot, I'm guessing. Or nobody really pointed out. But physical has one of the strongest breaks in the game. And you're going to see that today whenever I showcase against the new weekly boss. And Ruan May buffing up one of the strongest physical breaks in the game, or one of the strongest breaks in the game, is really wacky. And you're going to see that today. I went ahead and maxed out my Luka entirely. He's going to be the main star of the showcase. Even though this isn't a showcase, it's a Luka show, or a Ruan May showcase. But Luka's going to be the main person she's buffing, because Ruan May is a support. She's a weakness break focus centric support, and she's going to be buffing him. You can see I have her in E0. Don't even have her light cone. Uh, and ability-wise, we have talent. Increases speed by 10% for the team. When the allies break an enemy target weakness, Ruan May deals damage to this. Enemy target break equal to 120% of her ice break damage. She has 250% break. Good thing to know. 21.2% uh, res pin increase. And it applies its status effect that whenever they go to recover from weakness break, it inflicts them with another little mini weakness break. So they get delayed even more. Her skill uh, increases all allies damage by 32%. And weakness break efficiency increases by 50% for three turns of her turn. In battle, for every 10% of Ruan May's break effect that exceeds her skill addition, increases allies' damage by 6% up to a maximum of 36%. So this is a 60... what? Uh, no... Yeah, it's a 68% damage increase on the skill alone. Very, 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 very strong. Um, break effect by 20% for allies, so increases break effect even more. Super good, and we're not going to have to worry about this too much. Actually, I might use it. I don't know. I don't even know if it works going into weekly bosses. But we're going to do the new weekly boss as a showcase, because the new weekly boss, anybody that's done it is going to tell you how tough it is. It is a very tough fight. It is it is pretty rough. It can be hard, um, but we're going to kind of laugh at it here. Hopefully. Hopefully these carry into it. I don't know if they do, but we'll find out. Um, it'll make it much easier if it does, basically. If, if it does carry into it, it's going to be much easier. It's going to be much simpler. But I just want to show you guys exactly how all this works and how, basically, you want to run through it. By the way, this weekly boss theme is an absolute bop, so I'm glad I got music going. So we're just going to do this. We're going to pop this. We're going to pop this again just to make sure that this lasts. Uh, you're really going to want Fushwan for this fight, by the way. Because Fushuan is going to kind of be the linchpin of your team. So now we're going to pop this. We're going to get our stacks up. We're going to just normal here. Um, we're going to bounce this back. And then we're going to use this to generate more stacks for him. And you guys can see how much of his weakness break, or how much of the weakness break he's already done to his bar thanks to Ruan May. If you guys run this boss, you guys will know what about you can expect for your weakness break bar. And know how crazy this act is in reality. So now that we have this going, and now that we have this going, we're going to go ahead and build this up, build this up. And then we're going to activate this. And we're about to see some very funny shenanigans happen. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really, really sick here in a second. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do this. And then we are going to... We're going to activate Ruan May's ult right here. Because she's going to be. it's going to be able to get activated here in a second. And then we're going to use skill again. He's going to spawn in a little little boy, a little friend of his, but it won't matter because he's about to take a ton of damage. 152k. And then follow-up break effect from Ruan May. 
So, yeah, you guys can see what I mean by... they. Somebody at Hoyo kind of forgot the interaction between physical and break effect because this is broken. This is very, very broken. This is so much damage, and my Luka's not even, like, crazy built up. He's just, you know, he's just chilling. Another little ADK. The ADK is kind of whatever. I don't think the ADK is anything nuts. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let Luka get some stacks in. Because I'm pretty sure he's dead here, so, like, this phase is over once it bounces back to him. So I'm just going to kind of hang out, uh, there, let them get their damage in, because I'm 99% sure he's dead. I could do this. Like, let me go ahead and do this, just to make sure, and probably take off, like, 1% or so. But he's going to take, like, an 80k or a 60k DOT proc here in a second. And, yeah. Yeah, I figured it was going to be something like that. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. Um... And we're going to keep it pushing. Then we're going to plop this down. And we should be able to get another ult up by the time we're getting ready to actually break. This weakness break efficiency goes really, really, really crazy. Uh, we do need to proc it again here. And we're, then we're going to bounce Luka forward. We only have one skill point, but it doesn't matter because Luka can function off normal attacks. So he's going to be able to generate that skill point for us that we need. And now we can go back to hanging out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and heal up. And one more turn, and I think can we win again. So, Obram of Collapsed Star, this ability hits pretty hard. You guys can see, um, Fushuan took about half HP from that. A very hard-hitting ability. So, next up, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And now we're going to activate Ruin Mei. We're going to activate this. Then we're going to activate this. And we are about to absolutely nuke the hell out of this thing. So next, we're going to activate this. Give it a good little punch. 167k on break. Followed by 112k <laughs> on a hit. Um, yeah, you guys can see. This is a very, very wacky character. Enables some very funny setups. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and blop this, bring him forward again, let him just do his normals. I know he was right there, and he didn't really need to be brought forward, but I'm like 99% sure that he's dead regardless now to uh, the bleed that he's about to take in a second. And that's Ruan May, and this is what she enables. She is very, very wacky broken. This is a very broken character. Luca now is really good. Uh, I've been doing some playtesting. Luke is extremely strong now. Because of her, Luca's nuts. Um, yeah, I'm, dude, I'm hyped. This is so sick. She enables so much stuff. Like my head's just been racing of like what weakness break shenanigans with DOT can I get into? Uh, she just seems so good. I'm so happy with her. Um, I don't know. I don't want to like peer pressure anybody into getting her, but yeah, I think Ruan May absolutely breaks the game because of an overlooked mechanic, which is physical break. Physical break is insanely strong. Hopefully, I showcase for you that, that today. And keep in mind, physical break is going to scale up due to how tanky the enemy is. The tankier the enemy is, the stronger the physical break is going to be because it is percentage HP based. And once I get a thief set on Luca and get him even more break effect. I could see myself hitting like some crazy like 300, 400k breaks in the future with Thief set and he's only at 140 break right now. Like he's only got 140% break effect right now. If I can get that to around like 200, 220%, oh man. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to reach some really nutty numbers. Anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.